there are obviously are many, many things that people are doing to respond to immediate needs, and the churches are well involved in things like food banks. There's also some churches that have taken the initiative and set up debt counselling, providing money advice, which is a really helpful service. We were wanting to be able to uh, also challenge the very situation in which people found themselves, where they were feeling uh, disenfranchised, uh, powerless, unable to influence what they were doing. Well, we were approached um, early this year to participate in the Listen Up project, which gives us an opportunity to talk face to face with the people in most need in our area, in our parish. Um, and the parish is one of the most socially deprived areas in the country. So we've got sort of hands on experience with um, people in poverty and, and people on the breadline, with high unemployment. Um, many people benefits it's about respect it's about listening it's about people in churches listening to the communities around them people in churches even listening to the other people in their own church and we had the opportunity for one woman to come up and share her experience of what it'd been like being a church member actually was living in poverty. People said afterwards that there was the most profound part of the entire Synod. That within the family of God, the people who've got significantly different experiences, and yet we stand equal before God, we're brothers, we're sisters. I think it made people sit up and realise something must be done to help our neighbour. We're living with our neighbour, we don't know their names. Face up to them. Don't turn away from them. They're happening on our doorstep, wherever you live. If you think that because it's not happening to you, it's not happening. Think again, because it is happening. Um, even in the wealthiest parts of the country. Just remember what Jesus taught us, to love thy neighbour. To accept people for who they are, not what they are, or what they've got, or what they haven't got. One of the things that needs to happen is to hear the voices of those who have deep experience of living uh, in poverty and deprivation, struggling and yet being able to survive and having hope. And hearing those voices is quite transformative. Listening acutely to what people say and respecting them for their experience changes the dynamic. And through supporting church action and poverty, you're going to be enabling more of those voices to make an impact in the public domain till we get to a time when the current um, obscene difference between wealth and poverty in this nation has not only been challenged but been changed.